Good morning, YouTube. Um, it is, what is today? It's Monday morning. It's really bright. Um, it's Monday morning at 9, and I decided last night that I would vlog this morning or vlog like a part of today because I like honestly haven't, um, I don't know what, what am I saying? I literally just woke up. I'm losing my, my mind. I, I was trying to think of like a video because I needed to make a new video. So I was trying to think of one. And I was like, I can't think of one. I was like racking my brain. I just need to like sit down and make a list or something. But until I do that, until I get organized, I was like, I can just do like a vlog and update you guys on what's been going on. Because a lot's been going on. And just like showing my morning, I guess. And so first update, I don't know if you notice but I'm in a new place I um, moved in with my boyfriend on Friday so today's Wednesday so it's been a couple days not a full week yet but yeah I moved in with my boyfriend um, he's renting a place and the painting and the, the walls are like this orange pinkish color so I feel like my videos are gonna be I'm gonna look pink in like all my videos because I don't know how to like work color balance or whatever like I really need to get my life together but anyway so yeah update number one I graduated college I moved out I um after I moved out I took a trip to Hawaii which you I have vlogs on my channel from Hawaii so after I graduated I moved out no after I got yeah I moved out of my apartment at school I went to Hawaii for two weeks then I went home to my parents' house, um, spent some time with my family, and then I went to New York for four days with my boyfriend, which I made a, like a quick vlog about that when we went to the Buy Chloe restaurant. And then I went back home, stayed with my, my fam a little bit more, and then I moved out here. So it's been a lot of stuff since graduation, which was literally like, um a month ago so it's been a lot going on since december but um yeah so um i keep saying um i don't know what, what what's going on but oh look at me look at my little this is on my boyfriend's fridge it's like my uh come on are you gonna focus y'all know i don't know how to work a camera i really need to get my life together this is um There we go. Like my my graduation announcement that I made. Um, that's like the the front of my show cart that I had. And this is one of my prints. Oh, speaking, well no, I'm gonna talk about my prints in a second, but yeah. And then these little magnets are my boyfriend's magnets. But anyways, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, oh, and excuse my head. I probably look so different because, um, you know, I always have my twist in. But I decided I'm giving my twist a break. I'm gonna try and like work with my natural hair for a while because I've actually been been doing that um, protective style for two years now. Like literally, it's crazy. So, uh, so I was like, I was kind of just getting tired of it. Um, I wanted to switch up the look because let me think. Should I give y'all a background of my hair? I'm just this is gonna be a very talkative vlog because I just I need to catch people up so um, I did the twist two years ago like for the first time um, after I was I used to dye my hair a lot I had like blonde hair and um, then after I got tired of blonde I, I was getting my hair dyed by professional and then um, after I got tired of the blonde hair I just went to like CVS and got box dye, which was like really stupid. So I just wrecked my hair after the black dye and my hair started to break off and it was just, I could just tell the difference. It was just super unhealthy. So um, that's when I started trying to do protective styles. So after I did, after I dyed it black and it was breaking off, I did like a sew-in and I got tired of the sew-in. Cause I used to do sew-ins like, like senior year of high school is when I first started getting sew-ins. Um, 
Anyway, so yeah, that I got a sewing. I got two sewings. I got like a straight sewing and a curly sewing. And after I got the curly sewing, it was like bad. Like it was just the the weave quality was shit. I got it from AliExpress and it had like really good reviews, but I don't know, it was just it was really bad hair. So after that, I was like over sewing. So I was trying to find protective stuff. So then I did um, faux dreads, which were really cute, which I wish I could do again. But it literally took me three days, and I just don't have that type of patience anymore. So yeah, then I did the faux dreads, and then I did um, the twists, and I love them, and I stuck with them for two years. And last year, um, when I took out my twists to redo them again, like you know, you gotta take them out, wash your hair, deep condition, then redo them. I was just like, my hair was so damaged from like the dyes and stuff. Like I could tell the the growth difference from like when I. The top of my hair was like healthy curls and the bottom was like that bleach curls that I used to do. So I decided I'm just gonna cut my hair off. So I cut my hair, my hair was like probably to my ear. And like that's the shortest my hair has ever been. Like I've, I'm that like girl who like I'm used to having hair. So I was freaking out, I didn't know what to do. So guess what, I put my twist back in for another year. Brings us to today. I'm at a length that I'm actually like comfortable with, so I'm like, I need to just figure my hair out again. So that's a long story to why I have this on my head and I look like totally different because I don't have a whole bunch of twists in my hair. But I'm trying like, I'm trying a stretch style right now. I'm gonna see if it looks right. I'm gonna take it out later. Oh God, that was a lot of talking. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this. This is what me and my boyfriend have been doing every morning is um, um, taking organic wheatgrass, it's not gonna focus, whatever. Putting a scoop of this in water or in um, a smoothie. I do it in water and then I have a breakfast smoothie afterwards. So I'm gonna do that right now. I don't really know how I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. This is sturdy. Ah, don't fall. Okay. So I'm gonna do this, this is actually the wrong size cup. Get my cup, get some water on the fridge. He has one of those fridge water, here's my boyfriend. Um, it says like one scoop of wheatgrass, wheatgrass per like uh, one scoop, wait, per eight ounces of water. So that's what I did. Can you even see? No. Here's the one thing. Here's the eight ounces. One scoop of wheatgrass. Two. And then I just stir for like an hour. Not an hour, but you gotta get all the lumps out. Let's see if I can find a spin. to get really dark green like so okay so I realized how much I just talked just then so I'm just gonna make this update video because this is if this is a vlog of my day it's gonna be like 30 minutes long let me know down below if y'all are into like really long videos I don't know so I don't I try not to make really long videos so this will just be an update and if you like really long videos then I'll just I'll do like a vlog in my day or something next or soon. So um, anyways, um, I'm gonna have some, this actually doesn't taste like much of anything. And I know I always used to hear like wheatgrass shots are disgusting, which they probably are because that's like straight ground up wheatgrass like this, well like fresh, this is powdered and packaged. But it's 100% like raw organic wheatgrass. Anyways, it only, it just tastes like water with like a hint of like, Grassy, I don't know, but it's not bad at all. But, um, yeah, continue the update. This is um, where I've been working since well, for the past I don't know five days that I've been here. This is my new little studio space, it's really bright. My boyfriend has like a spare room in his in this house that he's renting that I'm now in. And he said I could use it for my space. So um, since it's renting, there's furniture from like the woman that owns the house. 
so we can't like get rid of it I guess so there's still it's not you know perfect but it's way bigger than the space I had at my old apartment the space I had at school so I appreciate it a hundred percent so um I've been working on this commission well I started yesterday well I did it yesterday I started and finished it yesterday but um one of my old co-workers asked me if I do a portrait of her dog so yeah I did and I think it came out pretty good so yeah hit me up if you want a commission you feel me so yeah with the small ones i've been just i just painting on the bed i like pull up this chair and i just paint and that's all my stuff my speaker for music my laptop it's a it's a hot mess but um pistachio shells from last night oh god girl so um this corner i'm gonna put like my easel right here my parents are bringing the rest of my stuff this weekend so my easel's gonna go here but here's the dilemma you see this big ass bed and all this giant furniture i just recently decided that i want to start um this is canvas like i bought a roll of canvas and i decided i wanted to start painting directly on the canvas and then the canvas paper and then if i wanted to stretch it later then i will but so I was gonna use this wall as like the where I pin up the canvas but this big bed is in the way so I like I don't know what I'm gonna do I still haven't figured it out yet so I haven't been able to start like to go big yet because I just this wall right here would be perfect to pin up the the canvas and start painting but this bed's in the way and there's nowhere we can put it so I have no clue what to do but yeah, and um, moving on to like something that I, I decided I wanted to share with YouTube, but it was only gonna be like an Instagram thing. But um, I have some leftover prints from last year, and I, terrible lighting as per usual. And I'm going to do a giveaway on my you on my Instagram channel. Like starting right now, actually, I'm doing it today. So that means it w it would have already started by the time you see this video. So um, yeah, I'm going to give away one free print to two people, and all you have to do is be um, you have to ha be following me on Instagram, and you have to go to my website, which is linked in my Instagram bio, and pick one of your favorite paintings of mine from my website. Post it on your Instagram feed and tag me in it and then I'm going to go through randomly whoever posted my paintings on their Instagram page and pick. And that's it. So yeah, these are the four choices for right now. So yeah, go do that. Follow me and join the giveaway, you know, free prints because after I give away these free prints, they're gonna all be for sale and they're limited edition because like I said I don't have that many so get them all you can girl get them all you can but yeah so now for the rest of my day like it just started I have to do like a final um, varnish over this commission you know to make it all pretty and like the fit the final touch the varnish and then I'm gonna go mail it out to the collector who purchased it and um I gotta go buy some acrylic paint primer or from Hobby Lobby I gotta go to the grocery store I gotta take out this hairstyle um we gotta post about the giveaway on Instagram I got a couple things to do today but um this I really just wanted to do this video to update you guys like I keep saying about what's been going on and just to uh, touch base with the folks out there that might be um, might have just graduated and are just trying to like figure out what they're doing because I'm kind of in that that space I know what I want to do and that's make art and sell it and make a living off of it right now I'm not making a living off of it um, I still have like leftover money from my job at school which I don't have anymore because after you graduate you can't work there anymore so I'm still living off of like leftover money and my loans haven't kicked in yet because I'm you know the six month deferment after you graduate blah 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 so I know what I want to do and 
I want to sell my art, sell my prints, do commissions, get into galleries, maybe one day be in a museum. Like I have, I have goals, and it's just getting to those goals um, that is going to be the test because you know everyone wants you to have like a traditional job. Um, my parents are they now they have a college degree. They're like I need to find like a, a real job and. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I will one day, but that's just not where my head's at right now. I really want to take this time, this free time. I've been in school for like six years. I want to take this time and just do what I want to do. And I'm lucky enough to have like my boyfriend who supports me and who's letting me um, have this room as my studio space and who's helping me. And um, I'm just lucky enough to have that option. So I know it's different for everyone, um, but I feel I, I really appreciate the fact that I'm even getting this opportunity to just not have a traditional job and just focus on my art and um, yeah so if you're in like a weird phase just you know figure out what you want to do and I know like I said that's easier said than done I have a lot of friends that also graduated and they're like going through it because you know it's hard it's a weird transitional phase to be in from being like a full-time student to then just everything stopping like I need to find a job type of thing I need to figure out what my goals are what my interests are like it's a lot to to deal with so I think I'm lucky enough to um, have this opportunity to be able to just try to try out the full-time artist thing you know dip my toe in it so if you guys who've been subscribed to me or are new or anything like my art or um, think I'm at least a little bit talented, I could really use your support. You know, like buy a print or uh, get a commission or, you know, you not even, you don't even have to buy anything if you just help me out on social media, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm shamelessly plugging myself, like Shameless Maya would say, but it's the truth because I need it. I, I need to grow my brand out there so I can make a living because I'm getting little things, like I'm getting this little commission here, but it's not enough to sustain me right now. Like I need, I need, you know, I need people really hearing me out or, you know, I need people really supporting, to being supportive of me. So, because I, I don't want to do commissions forever, this is like the thing that, you know, artists do to make money. Um, and I, I, I like doing them, I don't mind doing them, but you know, when you have, when you're an artist, you want to make what you want to make. And I have a lot of things, especially with what's been going on recently with um, our new president and like the Women's March and um, the the things that he's already changed in the few days that he's been in office like the Dakota Pipeline and um he signed something um uh, I don't even I, I can put it here like I don't want to mess up the wording of the things he's done but I've been inspired by a lot that's been going on lately and I want to make art about that and I want to continue to do I'm try, what I'm trying to say is I want to paint what I want to paint but I still enjoy doing commissions. I love, my favorite part is just seeing um, people's reaction when they when they get the commission from me. It's like the, the best feeling, how much they appreciate it. So, you know, if you want a commission, Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want to get some for your boo, email me and yeah, we can do it. Or if you want to print, go on my website soon in like the next week. Um, and everything will be up for sale so I said all that to say I could really use your support because this is a this is a new thing for me like I said just graduated and trying to figure it out but I really want to give this full-time artist thing a try so that's enough rambling this video is super long and it's just me talking so sorry if you didn't like that um, um, if you have suggestions for more videos for me to do let me know. I'm going to make a list today so I can start getting myself on an uploading schedule. Um, yeah, so that was my update. I'm going to go drink my, finish my wheatgrass drink, have a smoothie, and start my day. 
I will see you guys soon, as promised. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.